Welcome to Zoho Books, a powerful financial platform for your business. With the Canada edition of Zoho Books, you can handle all your accounting needs such as managing invoices, purchases, budgets, generate tax returns, financial reports, and much more. In this video, we'll see how you can sign up for Zoho Books, set up your organization, and begin your accounting right away. To get started, go to www.zoho.com slash books and click the sign up now button. Here, enter your company name, email address, and create a password for your organization. Select your business location as Canada. Click here to agree to the terms and privacy policy and mark this box if you wish to receive marketing updates from Zoho. Now, click create account. Enter your organization name. The business location will be Canada. Select the state or province you are in and enter your business address. You can choose the desired language here. Enable this option if your business is registered for tax. Now click get started. You can choose to get a quick tour by clicking here. For now, we'll select the other option. That's it, your organization is all set up. You will get a verification email in your registered email address from where you can confirm your account. After signing up, you will be logged into the Getting Started page, which will help you navigate through Zoho Books easily. You can find the corresponding how-to videos here and use the help documentation here. The function in Zoho Books are broadly sectioned into two parts. The left sidebar, which consists of modules to record your day-to-day -day transactions, which includes sales, purchases, projects, etc. And the settings tab, which allows you to set up your organization, configure the preferences, automate tasks, and integrate Zoho Books with Zoho and other business apps. Let's go through each of them in brief. The dashboard will give you an overview of your financial health. Under Items, you can add all the goods and services that you provide in your business. In the Banking module, you can connect your bank account, import bank statements, match transactions and reconcile your account. In the Sales module, you can add all your customers, create transactions involved in a typical code to cash process, you can create and send estimates, sales orders for the items that you sell. You can create invoices for your customers and once you receive payments, you can track them under Payments Received. You can create recurring invoices to be generated on a regular basis. And if you have additional credits for your customer, you can store them in the form of credit notes. Next, you have the Purchases section, where you can add all the vendors from where you purchase your items. You can add the expenses in your organization and also the recurring expenses. You can create and keep track of all the purchase orders and bills and you can also track all the payments made to your vendors through Payments Made. You can add your recurring bills here and track any credits from your vendors through Vendor Credits. With the Time Tracking module, you can handle project accounting. You can add, manage projects and log the time spent by tasks or employees using Timesheet and raise an invoice for the same. In addition, you can also track the project-wise expense and determine the profit earned per project. In the Accountant module, you can add accounting transactions including your manual journals, recurring journals, make currency adjustments, you can add all your accounts under the chart of accounts and compare the performance of your business using budgets. Additionally, you can also track your tax payments and tax adjustments made while filing your returns. The Reports module will consist of various business and accounting reports. For example, the Profit and Loss Report, Balance Sheet, Cash Flow Statement, Aging Summary, Timesheet Profitability Summary, and much more, which will help you get real-time insights needed to optimize your business. These reports aim to reveal information about your business, such as sales figures, purchases, inventory, and activity logs. For any report, you can choose to schedule it, share it securely with your team and also export it in various file formats to your system. For businesses that are registered with tax, the taxes section will be enabled in the reports module. Here, you'll be able to generate the tax summary, 
configure and file your tax returns for GST, HST, QST or BC PST. To configure the GST or HST return, click here. Click the configure now button. Then select the tax agency from the drop down. Enter a suitable reporting period. Enter the physical year defined by your tax authority for which you will be filing your returns. Select the tax basis and enter the date for which you wish to generate your first tax return. After the configuration is done, you will be able to generate your tax return. Once you file the return with CRA, you can mark it as filed and record your payments or the claim. The Documents module act as a storehouse for your documents. You can upload documents here or to scan data from the documents to create new transactions instantly. You can also auto upload your bank statements from email as well. Here, you can configure the module you wish to enable on the left sidebar for your organization. Next, let's go to settings where you can view and customize the additional preferences to best suit your organization. For instance, here you can configure your opening balances and you can add multiple users and assign roles. You also have a wide range of templates in multiple languages. You can set up automatic payment reminders, configure various integrations, explore the automation feature and do a lot more. Now that you have a basic overview of Soho Books, let's take a look at a few basic steps to quickly start your accounting. Make sure to follow these steps in order to set up your organization seamlessly. First, let's set up your organization profile. Click the settings icon and go to organization profile. You can upload your company logo here and you can select the industry you're in. You can edit the company address here and if you have a separate address for receiving payments, you can mark this box and enter the same here. You can choose to configure the email preferences for the primary contact of your organization here. You can also choose to configure the fiscal year, reporting basis, language and other settings. After this is done, click save. Now let's configure your tax settings. Go to settings and click taxes. Under the tax section, you can configure both federal as well as provincial tax rates. To add a tax, click on plus new tax. Enter the tax name, rate and the tax agency. Click the value added tax box if it's a reclaimable tax and click save. Once you've added the federal and provincial taxes, you can use the group tax option to create combined tax rates. You can also make use of the Avalara integration to automatically choose the right tax rate for the corresponding sales transaction. Next, you'll have to configure your chart of accounts. You can do this by going to the accountant section and selecting chart of accounts. Here you'll have a well-defined list of accounts and their corresponding account types. If you wish to add any additional accounts, you can click the plus new account button here. Then choose the account type and enter a name for your account. Additionally, you can enter an account code and a description for your account. Click save. Your account is now created. Next, you will have to add your items, which are the goods and services in your organization. If you already have a list of items, you can import them here. You will need to follow the file format and you can also download a sample file for your reference. To add items manually, you can click the plus icon next to items or you can click the plus new item button. Then enter the item name, unit, its cost and selling price and select the respective accounts to track sales and purchases for this item. Now choose the tax preference for the item. For a non-taxable item, you'll have to enter the exception reason from the drop-down. You can choose to track inventory for this item by clicking here and choose the corresponding inventory account, closing stock and opening stock rate per unit. Now you can save it. Your item is successfully created. Now it's time to add your customers. If you already have a list of customers, you can import them by clicking here. You can also choose to add them manually. To do so, go to sales and click the plus icon next to customers or the plus new customer button here. Choose the customer type, whether a business or an individual. Enter the name of the customer and their company name. 
choose their display name and enter their contact information such as their email, phone number and website if any. In the other details section, you can choose the tax preference. For taxable customers, you can select the tax rate you wish to associate with a customer. For customers who are exempted from paying tax, you will have to enter the exception reason and the tax agency details. Next, you can choose the currency. Here, the opening balance represents the customer balance you will carry forward while migrating from another accounting application to Zoho Books. As we will import the opening balance in the upcoming steps, let's move on. Here, you can choose the payment terms and enter the social profiles. You can also choose to enable the client portal for them from where they can view the invoices, make payments and keep track of all their transactions. Click here to add their billing and shipping addresses. You can add their contact persons and other necessary details of the customer. Then click save. Your customer has been successfully added. Similarly, you can add all your vendors under the purchases module. To make sure your accounting is intact and continuous, you will need to bring in your opening balances, which you can get by running the trial balance report in your previous accounting software. After getting the report, go to settings and click opening balances. You can follow the steps mentioned here to enter all your opening balances correctly. You can enter the migration date, which will be the date on which you generated the trial balance report in your previous accounting software while migrating to Zoho Books. You can import your accounts receivables for the amount you are yet to receive from your customers and accounts payable for the amount that you are liable to pay. Under each of these categories, like assets and expenses, you will find the corresponding accounts where you can enter the debit and credit amounts. Enter the amount and click continue. You can click here to import your opening balances. Click confirm. Now that you've set up your opening balances, added your items, customers and vendors, let's see how to create your first invoice. Go to sales and click the plus icon next to invoices. Select the customer name. The invoice number will be auto-generated. You can also choose to enter it manually by clicking the gear icon. Enter the other details such as the invoice date terms of payments, and the due date. Next, add the items for this invoice and select their appropriate tax rates. The tax rate associated with the customer will be auto-populated by the system in the invoice. Add the customer note and terms and condition of your business. Integrate and configure your account with any of the below payment gateways such as Stripe to check out, PayPal to receive payments seamlessly from your customers. Then save the invoice. You successfully created your first invoice. You can also integrate the online payment gateways from here. When you mail your customers the invoice, they can directly pay you by clicking the pay now button. You can also choose to record payments from your customers manually. After the payment is recorded, the invoice status will be changed to paid. Furthermore, you will be able to perform these actions on the go from anywhere, anytime from your iOS and Android devices using the Zoho Books mobile app. Now, let's take a quick look at yet another important feature in the settings module. The client portal helps your customers to handle transactions and track payments all in a single place. Let's see how to enable and use the client portal in Zoho Books. Go to settings, preferences, portal. You can edit the portal name, then select the list of notifications and access you would like to enable for your customer. Then enter a welcome message and click save. To enable the client portal for a customer, go to sales, customers, select the customer, click more and select configure client portal. Select the customer to whom you wish to provide the portal access. Once you click save, Soho Books will send an email inviting them to the portal. On accepting an invitation, your customer can create a password and log into the portal. After this, they will see a dashboard which displays important information such as outstanding invoices, available credits, latest transactions, and account details. They can also view and edit the list of cards that they have added. Your customers can view the list of estimates, invoices, sales orders, payments made, projects, 
and customer statements. The customer can view the estimates here, accept or reject it and add comments here. They can view all the invoices here and choose to pay for them instantly by clicking the pay now button. In the payments made section, they can track all the payments made so far. In the projects module, they can view the list and details of the projects created for them. This is how the client portal lets your customers access your transaction and pay you instantly. Zoho Books also offers a few other features that could interest you, which includes the automation module, which allows you to create workflow rules like email alerts, in-app notifications, and much more for different modules to perform appropriate actions. The integration module helps you to link your Zoho Books organization to various Zoho apps as well as other third-party apps. Now, let's get back to the dashboard. Once you start creating transactions, you can view different business metrics for your business such as your total receivables, total payables, the cash flow in your business, your income and expenses, your top expenses, projects that you're working on, the bank and credit cards that you've added and your account watch list. You can also view all the recent updates in Zoho Books by clicking here. If you use multiple Zoho Books organization, you can click here and switch to any of them. You can use the help documents and the assistance of a support team over chat, email or phone from here. You can also access your Zoho account from here. Hope you got a good overview of Zoho Books. In the description below, we've added a link to access our 14-day trial where you can access all our features for free during the trial period. After the trial period gets over, you can choose to continue using our free plan or subscribe to any of our paid plans. You can check out the pricing page link given in the description below. That's it for now folks. Have a great day. Thank you.